Okay guys, it's the next morning from the last rescue and we are getting ready for our koi rescue today. Now, what we've decided to do with these tanks first is we're gonna use four of the 75s. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. We need four. So on them two double stands, we're painting them black and putting four 75s on there. Then we're putting the 125 right there on that, this 125 right here, after we wash it, after we paint that stand black, is going in alongside of the 125s or the 75s. So we're going to have six and then four is 10 and then 14 feet of uh, rescue uh, quarantine tanks. So that's what we need. The rest are all going to be given away. Now, before everybody starts asking for them, I know, you know, a lot of people want them and this and that, but, you know, we did a lot of work going and getting these, and here's the thing. <clears throat> All the people that hang out here and help, I always give them first dibs. If you're here helping, you get dibs on these tanks. So I'm sorry to the, the people that aren't around much and this and that, but, you know, that's just how it is. Reaper has been wanting this 125 forever and have been, you know, promising the next 125 that comes in. So he's actually measuring his house. He might have to take a 75 if the 125 won't fit where he wants it. So we'll know about that later. But here's what we're doing. Let me come in here. Oh. Okay, we got the 450 set up here. Now right here, when people come in for this tour, I show them these tanks and they all start looking over here and stuff. I'm still talking about these tanks. I want this side of this tank covered like a back wall. So this is where the 125s and the 75s are going. This is 16 foot long and it's 14, 14 feet of tanks. So we can put them up here and then they'll come up to about here. I'm gonna hang a, a black background cloth across this. Nobody sees from this side. <clears throat> the biggest problem I have is giving tours is, you know, six people start looking in six different directions and, and no one's paying attention to me and there's really no reason for me to be there. People are ignoring me like that. So. I walk them around, I talk about each tank, and then we go on. I, they can ask all the questions about this tank, and then we move on to the next tank, and then the next tank. But, you know, with, with stuff like that, it, it just don't work. Seeing that when I go down here, there's nothing on this side. Now you've got just this whole tank to look at. You know, and then we come back down here, we hit the 750 here. And then we've got the 80 gallon here. And then we've got the three tiers. Then we come back around, and we have to make a loop through here again to go on to the tour. Now, see, right here is the problem. I start showing them this tank, they start looking over here. And, you know, start asking questions about that fish and this fish and this turtle and just, you know, there's this tank. And then there's this tank. And then I tell everybody to go back here to the right and look to the right. It's too early for the lights to be on yet, but they're on automatic timer. You got the, this fish here, and you got these fish here, and you got these fish here. Then we get to the thousand. Then we get to the dog bone. And explain all them fish and turtles, and then the turtle up here. Then we do the 4400. Then we do the baby stingrays. And then the 3000. And then take them out there, and oh, we just got so much to do out here. This tank and this tank get ignored because when they come out here, this is the first thing everybody wants to see. And they just ignore these tanks here. So, uh, I have to like bring them back to this or something. And these guys here, all, all these uh, all these guppies had a lot of babies in there. So then I walk them around and then I show them the Frontosa tank, the Bass tank, the Dwight Howard tank, take them out back, show them the, the pond and stuff. I bring them back in and we talk about the uh, Shack Koi goldfish in there. And on the way back through here, then I then bring up this one and this one. And, you know, tore pretty much over with at that time. So for all the people that are bumming out that we're covering up that 2200, we're not. We're just covering up the back side of it. So that, you know, the tours are easier for me. I can go a little more streamlined, a little easier, a little quicker, and won't have so much confusion. I've always hated this side of this tank being open because of that. So this is all gonna be quarantine tanks across here. And we're still gonna have four foot to get through here. 
walk through. So we're good. Actually, that tank sticks out as much as the 75s will across here in the 125. So we'll have that much walkway all the way through here. Oh. All right, so now here's what we're doing. Oh, it's bright. We are getting the, the, the van ready to take over to the Koi Rescue today. So we've got the 300 gallon tote that Greg Woodstock so generously gave us in place and ready to go. We've got our air pumps, air lines, uh, sponge filters, which they're running in the, in the fish room right now. I take them out and put them in here when we go. We're going on that Koi Rescue today. It'll be me and John and Reaper. Um, and that's, that ain't too far away. It's about an hour away. And before we leave, I want to show you this. You got the, the koi up here. And look at these flowers. There's two here, two there, two there. There's actually one under there. And then there's more on the other side. You got your mallards here. Hey, buddy. See him right there? Let's see how close he'll let me get now. He start walking away. Okay. And this, this front pond is just looking amazing. All right, so... Let's get uh, things together for this koi rescue, and we'll be on our way. Okay, we are on our way. We got little Diesel with us. What's up, buddy? Hi, Diesel. <laughs> Me and John are going because Reaper didn't show up today, so we're on our way. Okay, we are here, and they said it was all right for us to pull up into the grass because we've got a 100-foot hose, and that's as far as it reaches right there. So we are now pumping water in all the way down the side of this to the little pond in the back. That's a cute little pond. So, ouch. here we go. Nice little waterfall. We got all that turned off. A nice little pond. Now, they're not going to fill it in, so don't don't get all upset, everybody. <laughs> they just don't want the koi here because they're hardly ever home. So, and they always have to worry about them. So they want us to take the koi, and they're just going to have it as a water feature that they don't really have to take care of. So, it's a nice little pond, now. There's a bunch of koi down the bottom there and through there. And then you got all the irises here that are going to flower and make it look nice. And they don't have to feed it or worry about it if they're traveling. So, very nice. And then some of you people will get, you know, all their koi. Okay, we're raining it down. That pump's almost out of the water. We got this pump in, too. The fish you can see are down in the bottom here, but there's a lot of muck on the bottom. So as soon as I put a net in it, it's going to turn to mud. We won't be able to see nothing is the reason we have to drain it down some. So the homeowners are actually here. How you guys doing? Good, uh, introduce you? yourselves. You? I'm Desi. I'm Dylan. <laughs> sure you got that backwards? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, why, why are you uh, getting rid of the fish in this nice little pond? They're, they're nice fish, but we just don't have the time to keep up with them and feed them, stop at home. Yeah, we like to travel and yeah yeah that's always a hard part if you yeah. you know if you don't know the neighbors or ain't got somebody close by they can stop by and feed them you're always worrying about them i am yeah uh, i get it i get it <laughs> so so you're self. gonna have a nice little pond with a waterfall the water feature in your backyard yeah so nice. that'll work and uh and i heard you guys are selling the place yeah we're thinking about selling it so. so so here's what you can do when you sell the place you can put up there there's a nice waterfall feature in the backyard and if you want koi i know this guy that'll give you free koi okay. and that'll be you know one of your selling points Size and the there you go yeah. we, we try <laughs> to help plan. everybody out <laughs> so we're going to take them and find them a good home till you know they they decide they want koi again or because you might call me in three weeks and say i miss my koi i, know. I really was thinking that i might <laughs> I don't know so. Uh, well, you got plenty of frogs to feed in here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, John's grabbing the net. He's going to be our fish corraller today. We've got a net here because this side here is only about five inches. The deepest part is right here. The wide part and all that, all the frogs jumped in here. So they've already stirred up the bottom. We can't see them no more. So he's going to start just traveling through there. Here, give me this net. You're going to have to take that black uh, pump right there and try and put it down in the water more. And uh, he's just going to, by feeling... And by luck of the draw, get the koi out of there now as it's draining. All right, so John's going to reach in and try and get what we can't see right now. Um, do you want the pond cleaned while you're here? You got something we can throw the muck in? 
<coughs> yeah, you have to look through that for frogs, too. When you put it into the trash bag. Yeah. Look at Johnny playing in the mud again. Just like you were a kid, huh? I love this stuff. <laughs> He's going to put it on the ground beside you and just open it up to where he can flip. No, no, no. Put it on the ground. All the way down on the ground. Now flip that into there. There you go. It's a dirty job, John, but somebody's got to do it. I'm just glad it's you and not me. Alright, All right, I got a fish. Alright, run them around. There he goes. Alright, now while he's gone, I'm going to go ahead and put this, or unplug this, I guess, because it's out of water on this side. We got the net here so the fish can't swim this way, and they're all right there, and that can't be... Right, that can't be no more than six, eight inches deep right there. So just go from one side right here and scoop this way. And we'll clean up their pond for them. Now, <laughs> No, no, don't pull me out. Just stay right there. Oh. Okay. I see a frog and a fish. I think I got a of the frog jumped out. Okay, you're gonna have to get a round fish because you can't keep doing what I'm telling you. I just fell in myself <laughs> <laughs> and got laughed at. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Nicer, right? There's a frog. Grab him. <laughs> Where? Right next oh, to you. Jeez, I see him. Oh, I got mm. him. He's in that little cave. <laughs> All the mud and everything that way, so scoop and go. Do you know how many you caught so far? Seven. There's a big orange one right under your net. Take the fish and take the fish Three out and bring the mud. Yeah. Five frogs. Five frogs. <laughs> Six. He's got that gold neck on him. No. <laughs> Two fish in this one. Is there? No, I got one. I got two in here. This is it. So Rich is in there and he's helping. <laughs> two fish in here and a lot of mud. Check it for fish, frogs, all that. Give me this back. 
And I told them I'd help them clean their pond. <laughs> he does it all. He does. <laughs> that bag's gonna be impossible to lift. <laughs> Maybe bring the trash can over. I to would. The bag. I would let the bag open and let it dry out. Mm -hmm. Put some holes in the bottom or something. Here you go. I don't know if you want me to still fill it. No. Mm -hmm. Leave it on a pile right here. Okay. I'm hitting the bottom all the way across there and hardly coming up with muck, so there's no fish over there. What was that? I think it's some muck that flew out. <sighs> That pose down there. Now, are you gonna catch the last frog for us? Yeah, where's he at? In that cave right there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what your frog catching skills. Hey, I got in the pond without falling. Let's see if you can walk that little short section without falling. Slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it over. He's down inside there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so this was a mega long boy. Trying to dump it in there. No, just dump everything out right there. I look through it. That boy made the great escape. Okay, take this one. Looking. Take this one. All right, now lift off this rock here. It'll be right here. Maybe that's that splash he jumped in or something? Yeah, like probably. Yeah. Disappearing frog. Put this back on top of this rock. That's part of the, uh, the um, cave section. Holy moly. You jump back in, it's good. Come on around the side. He didn't fall. <laughs> John, I'm looking for ratings here. You should have fallen, son. <laughs> Tell me these things. I'll take a slip. No, you never stage nothing. Yeah, right. You see all these YouTubers, all they do is stage. I know yeah. how to stage stuff, but we don't. We're, we're real. We're raw. We've got the customer right here videoing for us. <laughs> She's such a nice lady. Might be a stage fall, but the hurts are real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, like so you, you still believe hurt. in wrestling then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. I think you might have already got that frog. This is from a real nice spot. Oh, I'm down to gravel. Wow. friendly show. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I did have it. <laughs> I thought that was all. <laughs> I got him right here. I think that's your nice last frog. Nice catch. Yeah. All right. I think that was it. Stuff out of here. Just on top of your ledge right here, we're down an inch of poop. Wow. This is a dirty pond. <laughs> and don't, don't pull. One, two, three. I didn't fall. <laughs> 
I'm getting to that age where if you fall, you might break a hip. <laughs> <laughs> I take all the nets. Uh, did someone say about giving me a shower? Yeah, you want a shower? <laughs> <laughs> right, rinse off the nets, too. Which is once a month shower. It's about that time. Right. <laughs> Hold that on your top of my hand. You can get the nets. Okay. Now, the camera. Would you like to go around and see Diesel? Yes, can okay. I please? <laughs> can she? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, pond is empty. We got all the fish. John's uh, washing the nets. And uh, I just got my bath, so I'm ready to go. Happy homeowner. <laughs> right. <laughs> Happy wife. <sighs> okay, let's go through this little door. Can you believe Big Rich fits through here? I didn't think it was possible. There you go. You made it through, no problem. <laughs> All right, little Diesel's up here, and he lives for attention. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm gonna roll down the window for you. Hey, Diesel. Now you can get your attention. <laughs> Now, you know, usually puppies got puppy breath, yeah. but it's so cute, it you know? but no, he's got the worst puppy breath Does ever. He? Oh, no. Hi. Oh, he's like truck stop dog breath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You got stinky breath? Hello. Huh. You are so cute. You hang out with the fish? Is that what you do? He wants out and in your arms so much. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, you're too tiny. I love it. He's about eight months old now. Is he? Mm -hmm. Wow. He's bigger He's than his so uh, father. Not as wide, but definitely taller. Huh. And uh, you have the smallest head of a dog I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. So there you have it, people. You got the pond. You got Big Rich getting dirty. You've seen Big Rich work. You didn't see nobody falling. You get to see homeowners and, and what they're doing with the pond. And you get to see the little diesel love. It's everything. Now, have you watched many of our videos? Yeah. What's oh, my yeah. tagline at the end? Oh, as always, stay fishy, my friends. Stay fishy, my friends. I <laughs> like <go>. that. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you can do it, but say bye to him and let's go back and say bye, bye to your husband. <laughs> bye, buddy. I know. I don't think I can. <laughs> he is. A, he's adorable. But he's so strung out and hyper <laughs> that we have to keep him on his leash. Otherwise, he runs off and don't listen. <laughs> Oh my God, he runs and he don't go and he thinks it's a game and keeps on playing, you know. <laughs> it's horrible to catch him. I have to come out with food. <sighs> All right, buddy, it's real nice meeting you. You too, appreciate uh, everything. Ah, uh, no problem. Appreciate you guys helping. Appreciate you for videoing, thank you. <laughs> see, people understand. You get to see me work when people video. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're home. What a job, huh, John? It's a fun one. All right, so we, what we did was we hooked up the blue hose, and we drained it down. See all the wet spot? And drained out all their water. We've been pumping our water. We got it down to where the coys were, uh, the fins were out of their back. Now we're filling our water up. And take a look. There they are. There's about 13 of them. And we got four big bullfrogs. So now what we're going to do is we're going to catch them and put them in the water that we just pumped up in under the tarp in that green tub. I'll go show you that now. John's going to start catching the koi and uh, we're going to get them acclimated or they're acclimating now to our water. You can get the frogs first. Okay, underneath here, sorry for all the brightness, but it's bright out today. Okay, here is our little tub with the extra koi. There's some over there. I think five of them. Yeah, five koi over there. And then we're gonna put the rest into here. This is the water we're pumping up to acclimate them to this temperature, this pH, this alkalinity of water. 
and uh, <clears throat> and you know our, our nitrites. Our nitrites are about 15 parts per million. I don't know if their pond was at zero or if it had nitrites because it didn't have very many plants to it. But we're acclimating them to our water. So um, John will be carrying them into here. And my nurse is getting ready to leave. So I have to go in and watch Tracy. So John's going to finish carrying these over here. And Josh should be home any minute. I can come back out if he's in there. One of the, one of the two of us have to be in there at all times to hear the alarms. And, uh, you know... Josh can let me know if something happens I can come running in and, and get her so okay so John's here with his net we're getting ready to take these fish over to there basically grab what you can and be careful with them and then run to the tub and release them in there okay here he goes okay, he running yeah watch that 2 by 4 see it sticking out right there that's on the bottom of the fish tank. It's on top of the roller going across the roller un under there so the fish tank stands on top of it. We need to cut that off because I just I just cut my heel all up on it. Matter of fact, here. There's the back of my heel. Okay, so I had to go back in and watch Tracy, but all these are John brought all in from the, the, the rescue out of the truck and into this tub now there are no butterfly koi here so when Josh gets home I let him pick if he likes anything out of here to go into our pond uh, then, then he'll do that after that we've got two people that have been waiting in line for the koi um, so we'll let them pick through what they want and I'll let you guys know if there's any extra. John, it's been a hard working day today, hasn't it? That's All good. right. So what we need to say is, you've worked here, what, two days straight now? Three? It was two. I did yesterday's rescue in today. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I get confused. But so many people coming through and helping and this and that. I know you're always here helping. I appreciate it and thank you for that. And you do this on your days off. Now you get to go home and go back to work. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, John. It's all fun. So uh, I'm going to let you say our, our, our tagline. Right? Really? <laughs> so as always, stay fishy, my friends. There you go. <laughs>